Hi, and welcome back to Moby's Kitchen. Uh, we're gonna be making a really special dish to me. Uh, I grew up eating this. Uh, my Italian mom uh, created this recipe. She always called it her fast sauce because it's very simple. And it's a really delicious spaghetti with green beans recipe that you can use as a side dish or as your main dish. And if you're a vegetarian, this is perfect for you because there's no meat in this actual dish. My mom used to serve it alongside Italian sausage or steaks uh, in our family, but you could totally use this as a main dish. And uh, let's get right into it and take a look at these ingredients. It's very simple. So the, the star of the show here are these uh, Asian, uh, like Chinese long beans here. Uh, so these are like a big, long green bean. They can grow up to three feet long. So we're gonna uh, slice these up and, and make them kind of more bite size uh, and, and rinse them off. And I'll show you that in a minute. We're gonna need some spaghetti here. Uh, I like using DiCecco as always, my favorite brand. Then we've got, of course, Cento uh, San Marzano tomatoes right in the uh, can there by the Cento brand. It makes all the difference because they're right from Italy. Uh, we've got one yellow onion, about four cloves of garlic, of course, some Pecorino Romano by the good stuff. Uh, and then we've got uh, cherry tomatoes, uh, fresh cracked pepper. We've got salt and of course, olive oil. All right, let's get going. Okay, we're gonna chop up our garlic. Uh, we're just gonna do kind of a, it doesn't have to be like totally minced, just a nice uh, kind of chunky chop here, just like that. And you're gonna repeat that process with each one of your cloves. Okay, next up, we're gonna dice up an onion. You can do kind of chunkier pieces. It doesn't have to be finely diced. This is kind of a rustic type pasta dish. Just kind of cut across like that and then turn it. You get nice diced pieces. And you do that for the whole onion. As you can see, perfect, perfect chunks there. All right, next up, we're gonna half some of our cherry tomatoes here. If you love tomatoes, this kind of depends. You know, if you're a big tomato fan, then do a lot of these. If you don't love tomatoes, do less. Uh, I do a fair amount because I think it adds some nice balance to the dish. So that's as simple as that. You just cut them in half. Okay, so let's get our Chinese long beans cut up here. So what we're going to first do is get the, these sort of, these harder ends off. We want to just discard those. So we're going to cut in a little bit. And you just want to get rid of this part completely. And then we're going to go along these and cut into kind of, roughly normal green bean length there. And we're just gonna work our way down. And then when we get to the end, let's get rid of the ends on this side as well. And there you go, you've got, that, that's not even that whole bunch that I got from the store and I think that's gonna be plenty. And what we're gonna do is get this in a strainer and kind of uh, rinse them all off. Okay, so next up we're gonna just kind of uh, loosely chop up our Cento San Marzano. See, they come whole like this and they're already peeled. We wanna keep these pretty chunky. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of cut like this one in half here and maybe into quarter, just like that. So they're in, in nice big chunks because as the liquid cooks out of these, they'll cook down smaller too. So that's perfect. You're gonna just do that with the entire can. Do not throw the juice away. We're gonna use that also. So keep everything in the can. Okay, we're over here at the stove. Now we've been preheating a, a nice big pan here on uh, medium heat for about two minutes. We're gonna get some olive oil in and don't be shy with the olive oil with this recipe. This is the nice base to the sauce here. So we're gonna put plenty of it in the pan. I'm putting probably, I don't know, quarter cup of olive oil there at the bottom of the pan. And we're gonna get our onions going. All right. And we're gonna cook those down for probably, I don't know, about uh, three minutes or so before we add any garlic, because the garlic cooks faster and we don't want that to burn. Okay, so our onions have been going for about three minutes on medium heat here. It's time to add in our chopped garlic. And then what we're gonna do is a little bit of salt here. I like using kosher salt myself, but you can use any salt you like. Maybe about half a tablespoon there. To a teaspoon here. Some fresh cracked black pepper. We can add, add more later for flavor. Let's start with that. Let's mix it up and we're gonna cook this garlic till it's fragrant. We don't want it to burn. So that can be anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute. And I'll be right back with you when we're ready. 
Okay, so this is an optional step. I like to add about a half a cup of beef stock. Uh, if you're going full vegetarian here, then you can skip this step or you can add a little bit of water or a little bit of wine of your choosing, or you can skip this step altogether. I think this just adds a little extra richness to the flavor. add in all our tomatoes, our chopped cherry tomatoes. It's about 10 ounces in total there. And then what I did is I put our whole can of juice and cento tomatoes after dicing them up or chopping them up back in the can here. We're gonna add that as well. And then we're gonna cook this down probably a, I don't know, about 10 to 20 minutes I'll, and just kind of let it slowly simmer here and get all the flavors incorporated. And at this point, we're gonna add just a little bit more salt, maybe about a teaspoon there and a little bit more fresh cracked black pepper. All right, stir that up and then we'll be back with you when we get the consistency we're looking for. Okay, so while our sauce is kind of uh, simmering away here, we're gonna get a pot of water boiling. I like to cover it, it helps boil it faster. And then that's gonna be for our, uh, our green beans. We're gonna put those in there and get those cooked in a minute here. Uh, we'll be right back with you. Okay, so we've been simmering away for about 20 minutes with our sauce. And it's, uh, as you can see, it's reduced a bit and it's the, the tomatoes are softening up nice. I just did a taste test, it's pretty good. And what I'm going to do now is add a little bit more olive oil, just sprinkle it right on top. And then we're going to cover this and put it down to the lowest heat that you have. And we're just going to keep that just nice and warm. And then we're going to move over to our boiling water here. We're going to add in about a tablespoon of salt there. And then we're going to put in our green beans. And we're going to boil these till tender and then we're gonna add them into the sauce. So we'll be right back with you when these green beans are ready to go. All right, so we've been going about five minutes of the boiling water and they're about the consistency you want. I would call it al dente and then we can get these into the sauce and they'll continue cooking in there. So I like to just, you can strain these out or just use one of these handy strainer spoons. And get all these in the sauce and I'll be right back with you. Okay, then you're just gonna simply stir in these green beans here. And next step, you're gonna change your water out in your pot and get another pot of boiling water ready for the spaghetti. And that'll be our next step and we'll be right back with you. You can keep this on low and cover it, just let it just slowly simmer here. All right, we've got boiling water again for our pasta. We're gonna put in about a tablespoon of salt. We get our spaghetti. I'm just going right out of the box. I'm not going to be fancy like a lot of people on here. <laughs> right out of the box. Why not? All right. Sometimes you lose one or two. That's fine. And then you're going to cook this till al dente, probably about nine minutes boiling, and then you'll finish it in the sauce. So we'll be back with you when we're at that point. All right, so we've cooked our pasta, it's perfectly al dente, and we've strained it out. I'm gonna pour it into the sauce here. This is a whole box of pasta, and it may be just a tad bit too much. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take a scoop out. So we got probably about three quarters of a box of pasta in there. And we're gonna stir it up. And next, we'll plate it and we'll do our taste test. All right, we've got our pasta in the dish here. We're gonna put some fresh Pecorino Romano over it. You know me, don't be shy with this stuff. And I always like to add a little bit of pepper too. All right and we're gonna taste test. All right, so it's my favorite part of the video. It's taste test time. 
and I'm gonna bring a very special person in for this. My nephew just turned 16. It's, it was his birthday yesterday, so we're celebrating tonight. So come on in, Blake. We're gonna try this thing. Try to be as neat as possible. I got a fork for you over there. We made uh, buffalo wings for him tonight at, his, at your request. How's it feel to be 16, Blake? Any different? Mm, no. Not really? No. Mmm. It's so good. I always like when my mom makes it better. There's just something about what she does. So I'm gonna try to perfect it. I'm gonna take notes next time she makes it. It's really good. Hard to eat pasta on camera. What do you think? <laughs> Is it good? It's good. It's good? Make this one at home. Like, subscribe. Thanks for stopping by. Happy birthday, Blake. Thank you.